Hi guys, it's Hef. I am back in and this is going to be my update for my Project 50 Pan Roulette that I've been doing since last year. I have the number of updates wrong on the videos, I believe, but whatever. Um, yeah, so I will quickly go through the things that I had already hit my goal on or de-stashed or whatever in previous updates. So the first one is the Grace and Cole hand cream in pineapple passion fruit. My goal was to get down to like here, which I, I got past that. Um, I'm now using a different hand cream to give myself a break from that one. There was the eyeshadow in the That's Heart palette from BH Cosmetics. This one to hit pan. That's that one there. There was the blush that I just wanted to hit pan in, which was the low blush, which I did, I think that was the last time I hit pan in it. Uh, the High Lift Cureplex Bond Sustainer in number three, which is a hair thing. I finished that one off. The Nivea Light Moisturizing Day Cream. I think that was finished last time as well, and in my last update. The Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Mascara, the Rimmel Vinyl Max Lip Gloss which I decluttered, the Neon and Co Treatment Oil for Hair which was like water and very weird, the Damask Rose Harvey Prince Perfume which was nice enough. The Liqueur Power Serum, which I knew was only going to last a couple of weeks, if that. The NYX Milk Pencil, which I took out because I just was not using it. I do not like it very much. I may well de-stash that by the end of the year or declutter it. The Avon Femme Perfume, which I put in this little atomizer. The Burt's Bees pink grapefruit moisturizing lip balm which I will probably repurchase when I don't have any other lip balms. The Urban Skin Co Repair Body Balm. The W7 Photo Shoot Foundation which started oxidizing on my skin so I got rid of that. The Suntivity Moisturizer from Cetaphil which smells like almond glue and is disgusting so I de decluttered that. And the Organic Care Fig and Papaya Body Wash. So there's all the things I'd already used up or hit my goal on. Let's put them all back in the holder thing. Just to make it easier on my desk area. Okay, so this this round I'm actually decluttering two items. One of them is the Australis Mint Condition Lip Gloss. This was actually starting to dry my lips out, which is supposed to be a moisturizing vitamin rich gloss and it just it, make, it was making my lips dry out. Um, so I am going to get rid of that one. And the other one was one that I put in um, I think it was the time before last. Um, but this is the product that I don't even buy on sale. This is an Essie nail polish. I started out when I put it in the project up about here. And I used it a couple of times. And then I used it on my toenails. Now my toenails, nothing chips on my toenails. This chips so badly. I put um, thinner in it twice and it's it's just goopy as heck and it's not pleasant to use it's not fun to use and I'm done with it so that one I'm counting as done as well so I'll be pulling two new ones out this time round onto the products that I have not actually finished or hit my goal on yet the Honolulu bronzer from W7 now I know you can see pan on this because it broke but 
because I didn't do that and it was because it broke and I have this other dip because I've been using this as a transition colour on my eye eyes so right here right here there is actually quite a sizable dent happening and I'm going to keep on using this until I hit pan there rather than the pan that is already showing because that was just for me breaking. The high-end lip product is my MAC Vegas Vault. This thing is moving so slowly because it's because I don't reapply during the day. Um, that right there those are the lines. The bottom one is where we are now. If it's focused, I can't actually see. I like it, like I'm wearing it now. It just, it's not moving. <laughs> uh, so I gotta go down the list and work out where I'm up to. Okay, the iTeeny Swizzle Stick Eyeliner. This thing is another thing that moves really, really slowly. I'm not hugely mad about it. There's like the part of me that wants to move through products rapidly. There's a part of me that enjoys certain products and this one is one of the ones that I actually enjoy. It is, um, it stays in my upper waterline which is mainly what I use it for. Um, and that one there. So, and I don't even know how accurate that is because it's actually broken inside the thing. So like if I drop it on the floor I'm going to have to like get rid of it. But it's one of the only things I've ever found that actually stays in my waterline and doesn't like move. So um, I'm not mad at it. The next one is the Essence Eyebrow Stylist. Um, oops. And that is what it looks like now. I don't think... I will insert a picture of what it looked like last update. I don't think it looks too much different. It's another one of those slow moving products, but I, I really quite like it for my eyebrows, so again, I'm not mad about it. Not mad about it at all. The next one is the uh, Starlux Ultra Olive Pencil. I didn't use this as much the last couple of weeks. Um, it is a super duper creamy product, so it, um, you have to sharpen it pretty much every time you use it. Um, I probably needed to sharpen it today when I used it, but I didn't. Um, and that's where we are now, so you can see it's only a little teeny tiny movement on this one. But considering I started uh, up there, started up there and we are down there, I think that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. The next one is the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express. Um, this had started to sort of transfer a little bit on my bottom, which I really, really hate. Um, but what I started doing is I started using a different mascara on the bottom and using this one only on the top. I do find if I don't wear eyeliner in particular, like liquid eyeliner, it will actually transfer onto my eyelids. So this one is getting near done. And um, this was has been in the project for at least a couple of months now so it's probably getting near time to ditch it anyway it's just a normal wand so, so that is that one then we have the w7 lipstick in i don't know what color it's just pink just bright bright pink i really don't think it has a name Um, it's just a super bright pink. I've worn it a couple of times. Um, I don't think, yeah, I pretty much didn't notice when I put it against my thing any movement on the thing, so it hasn't really changed. Then we have the Derma E Purifying 2 in 1 Charcoal Mask. Um, there was probably only one use left in this, and I haven't used it again. So I really need to do something about that and use that. So it does, it's not any different from where it was before. Um, then we have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, which 
is, it might be lower than that, I, I'm having trouble seeing, but I believe it's down about there. This was only just put in the project, it might be a bit lower. I actually really like this, um, yeah, I'm having fun with it, it's, it's good. Um, then we have the highlight that I put in last time, which is the Inglot number 85. I think I've used this like twice. I only want to hit pan on it, which will probably take forever. Um, because when I hit um, 50 items used up, I'll end this anyway. And at the moment I'm at 19, I believe, I've used. Uh, next one is the face mask. This is the Lon Vitalite C1 Whitening Mask. I didn't use this one either. These were both sitting in front of my computer and I kind of just like didn't use them. So I have to do something about that. <laughs> the next one is the Le Cure Cherish Hand Cream. I can't tell where I am. I know I've used this like every single day. Um, sometimes a couple of times a day. I actually quite like it. It's sort of kind of exotic fragrance which is actually quite nice for a change um, and I can smell the, the mandarin in it which is like I like citrusy scent so it's it does have flower but it's mixed with citrus so it's it's fine and the last one was I added in last time was this chapstick which is what I have been using um, the the nighttime side, my daughter was playing with it while she was sitting in front of my computer and she had wound it up and it got stuck in the lid and so when you went to take the lid off it actually pulled the whole thing out. So I basically just squished it back in there so uh, if I wind it all the way down that's, that's what that one looks like. It's super duper um, mushy and the daytime side is not as mushy and hasn't had to be repressed into the thing so it is not showing as much use um, but generally if I know I'm not going out anywhere I'll use the like nighttime side I uh, tend to only use the daytime side if I know I'm actually going out in daylight so, so I am going to draw two more items out of my little jar if I can get open, we have all the little thingies in there. Might have to, like, I might end up running out of them before I run out of products. No, I doubt it. Okay, so there's one. And two. So, I can already see what one of these says, and I'm like, Uh, the first one says oldest lip product and the other one says an eyeliner. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to go find them. <sighs> okay, so my oldest lip product, that was actually really easy. This is a wet shine fusion from Maybelline. This is in the colour Very Cherry, excuse my dog barking what it looks like. It might be that I use this a couple of times and realise it's just too old. But it's still like really creamy. And it still smells really good. So that is the oldest lip product. Um, the eyeliner that I'm putting in is the Rimmel Scandalize Thick and Thin Eyeliner. This is supposed to be waterproof. Um, in black, the current liquid eyeliner I use on my top lids is on its last legs. Let's, uh, put this one in. Um, it's never been used, it's brand new. So uh, I think I've like swatched it like twice and that's it. So that is my update for my Project 50 Pan Roulette. If you want to see the rest of my videos, then click the subscribe button down below. Click the bell so you get notifications. Leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.